talk about relationships for a minute. Being that you were uh, in the spotlight for so long, mm -hmm. um, I know you probably get a lot of men who just want to be with you just because of what you've achieved in the past. Have you found that difficult in the dating world? Mm -hmm. or has it become a burden? I'm like, what's, um, what's the deal with that? Let's see, dating. It's always interesting. Y'all men are special. <laughs> but, um, but no, I think you get both. You get some people, you know, who do want to be next to you and you'll you'll get people who, you know, then are kind of intimidated by, you know, what I've done, what I've achieved, who I am. Um, so, I mean, and that's, as you get older, just that's what dating is. You sift through that and you mm -hmm. find the good one. You find the diamond in the rough. So mm -hmm. that's what it's about. I personally believe God made me, so I know he made my counterpart. So I'm good and I'm patient. So patient. when it's time, I just work on me and when they, they'll, they'll, we'll find each other when we're supposed to. Uh, working with two of the best Tyler Perry, of course, mm -hmm. Bill Cosby, um, what are some of the uh, most important things that you've learned from both of them? Um, I think, you know, there's several facets, you know, starting with Mr. Cosby, I had such a wonderful foundation um, in terms of my craft, in terms of professionalism, in terms of what's the best of the best. And I'm thankful for that because I didn't learn bad habits. I learned it the best way, the right way, um, just to be creative and, you know, com comedic timing, which is something that is, is an art form and I've been lucky enough to, and blessed enough to have it as second nature to me. Um, and I think ultimately it's about the craft and about doing great work. And I think they both very much um, are concerned in terms of the community and you know what we represent and how powerful the imagery is and how important it is to have you know like kind role modelship out there for little you know black girls and boys who a lot of times when they took turn on the television you know they don't see someone who looks like them yeah. and in their real lives they may not have someone who's you know giving them positivity and, and you know teaching them the right way to, to live and to be and to act so you know I take that responsibility very When it's all said and done, like, you know, um, I'm sure you're going to do greater things, but what do you want people to say about your legacy and, and what you've done? Um, about my legacy and what I've done, I just know that I want to be remem remembered um, for my work in terms of my craft and, and my, my body of work and the legacy that I leave. And um, just me, moreover, as a person, as a human being, um, as someone who really gave back in every aspect and was was selfless with all that I could give in terms of you know not only my craft but who I am as a person. Keisha Knight Pulliam star of Tyler Perry's House of Pain, and you are watching Rolling Out TV.